Doesn't feel like it really stuck that good. Whatever it is, it's coming though. Here we go. I got it. Oh, dude, look at, whoa. I don't know if I'd be taking any puffs off of that one anymore. Poor box, St. Vincent de Paul. What is going on today, guys? Today, we are back in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. And if you remember our last video here, we actually magnet fished right by these little concrete slabs on the shoreline here. Now, I'm not 100% sure what they are, but they're big concrete slabs. They don't just look like rocks. So to me, it almost looks like there used to be a building or something here. Now, today, we're back out here once again. We're gonna give it another shot. It's absolutely absolutely gorgeous today you guys let's get right down to it let's start tossing this magnet and let's see if we can find anything here today if you guys would like to pick up some merch or you want to pick up a magnet the links will be down in the description guys all right guys we are back out on the boat i got my large 360 degree magnet with me today and check it out this is one of them big old concrete slabs that i was talking about now they must have been here for quite a while because they're underneath all the trees and the bushes and everything i don't know what was here you guys but you can tell it was something let's get right down to it start tossing and see if we can find anything Ooh, what was that we just slapped to something you guys yes first stick of the day here <clears throat> what's it gonna be Yep, here we go. What the heck is that one? There you guys. I don't know what to think of that one. The old somewhat curvy piece with the hole in the middle. Now this could be like part of that building or whatever was here, but we have pulled so much stuff out of here already, you guys, and these concrete slabs. I mean, there's just, there, something was obviously here. actually is something on there look at that is that a wheel or something oh no look at that that's uh what do you call it like a faucet knob this is like the outdoor hose knob on the side of the house or something eat -er, eat -er. Oh, I thought I felt a little weight on there. What do we got? Oh, look it. Dude, I got me the old spoon, the blue handle. Check that one out, you guys. That's like a kid's spoon or something. We could eat us some river cereal. What the heck else is on here? A little piece of scrap. I thought we had something else that fell off though. This here, just another half a tree. Dinner is served. Oh, look at that one. I didn't even recognize what that was at first. It looks like we got to see old fishing rubber. What the heck is that? Oh, that is a, look at, that's a bike handlebars. Oh my goodness. I can only assume the rest of the bike is probably still down there. Wow, look at all the clams on that sucker. Here we go, that's heavy. I like me some heavy stuff. Oh yeah, that's like actually really heavy. Why does that not look so heavy though? What the heck we got here? Just part of a, like a bolt or something? Probably the old train bridge bolt, of course. And then we had this thing on there. And again, that almost looks like a bolt, but that is like way thicker. Hey, is this one of them pins? Like the old train car pin or the railroad pin that we usually find? Again, you guys, look at all them clams on there. Ooh, 
little something on there. What do we got here, you guys? Oh, hey, is that one of them fish grabbers? I think so, only we're missing like the grabber piece, unless maybe this is something else. We cost the old mini Uzi. Not 100% sure on that one, guys, but you can tell this piece here looks like it would definitely slide in and out of this track here. Is that something there or what's going on? Oh. Or maybe that is. Yeah, look at that. Does that not look like a bucket handle or something? You can see the little loops on there where it would go in the bucket. That's definitely what that is. We cost the old bucket handle. Oh, I think I got some. This is actually pretty heavy. Holy smokes. Yeah, what is this? What in the world do we got there? Is there something else? Oh, fishing line attached to something. What the heck is that? That's a stick with some fishing line, but if we break the fishing line off, aha, there's a sinker on there. Get out of here, stick. Yep, check that one out. We got us a sinker, but I don't know what this thing is here. Definitely some kind of, it looks like a tripod almost, like some kind of stand for something. What the heck do you think of that one? Again, tons of the zebra mussels on there. What do you think? Maybe a chair swivel or like a, maybe a camera stand or something or a, or a I don't know, an umbrella stand? Who knows? Ooh, I think I grabbed something. Yeah, thought that felt a little heavier. Check that out, you guys. What the heck is that? Looks like some kind of small window slot or something. Oh, look right here. Was that like you could bolt it down in place? I don't know. That's a funky one, you guys. Definitely looks like some kind of slot, huh? Oh, so what the heck is that? Look at that thing. A couple holes in there. Um, oh, you know what this is? I'm pretty sure this is, uh, well, I don't know what you call it, but I think this is part of like a light fixture. I'm almost positive. Like this is where all the wiring or your switches would go. See, I'm not sure if you can really see it through the trees and stuff here now, but right now there's actually a Walgreens up there. And I'm guessing this didn't come from this Walgreens as old as this looks. We caught us a little bit of electrical evidence. Um, is that a rock? Just landed right on that. Can't tell. No, I'm pulling something. That was no rock. There's definitely something on here. What is this? Ah, if you look really close, definitely looks like there's some white paint on there. Maybe some kind of trim piece off an old car. Who the heck knows? Come here. I got something here. Yep. What do we got? Oh, that's heavy. Oh, look at what it is. I can already tell because the holes in it, you guys. We got us our first railroad plate of the day. And it makes sense because we are pretty much right under the railroad right now. Pretty cool. Here we go. That's heavy. Oh my, that's actually really heavy. What do we got here? Wow, why is that? Everything is like so much heavier than it even looks. Check that one out, you guys. What the heck do you even think of that one? Some kind of square frame piece of something. Oh, look at that. What the heck is that on there? 
like a little clip is that part of it it kind of seems like it holy clams you guys yeah look at getting them in my mouth look at underneath all the clams there what the heck is that kind of clip i don't know what's going on here you guys that's a funky something Oh, there we go. That clicked really good. And again, super heavy. Ooh, what the heck is that? Wow, look at that. It's like the entire thing is covered in zebra mussels. I don't even know what to think of this thing right now. You guys, look at this thing. It looks like a, like a box, honestly. Yeah, it's like fully, oh. I think it like is some kind of box, hold on. You guys, I cleaned off all the zebra mussels. There's definitely some writing on the back of this thing. And look at, this looks like some kind of box, man. Poor box, St. Vincent de Paul Society. No way. A poor box for St. Vincent de Paul? What do you think this was? And obviously it's super old, maybe back in the day, like a donation box for donating to poor people, I guess, I don't know. And then maybe somebody broke it off and stole it? Obviously, that's what it seems like. We could get this thing cleaned up, we could clean out that slot, and I could like use this still. Two guys, that is way too cool. Cool. I found me a poor box. I've never even heard of such a thing. Unreal. No, the music's back, you guys. I really think that's gonna end up getting me copyright striked or something. I gotta like, I don't know. I don't even know if I can magnet this here now. Oh! There is something on there. I didn't even see that, you guys. Check it out. Got me the old daredevil fishing spoon. Just needs a brand new hook and she's good to go. Heck yeah, you guys. I've caught all kinds of fish on these things. They seem to be pretty popular. Nice. Yo, what is that? Oh, that's soft. Yeah, what the heck is that? Some kind of roller? You can see like the pin on one end. Maybe it's snapped in half here. That's definitely soft. It's almost like foam or something. Is this maybe one of them old school washboard rollers or part of one? I think we've only ever found white ones before. Who the heck knows? Oh, see that slap? What do we got here? Like almost pulled the rope out of my hand. Yeah, that oh, don't slip off of there. Whoa, what the heck is going on here? Check this thing out, you guys. At first, it kind of looks like maybe a wheel should go on there and maybe this would roll. But then if you look up here, this is like some kind of like pipe material, almost looks like part of a muffler maybe. I don't really know. You can see there's like a pipe clamp on here. This one's super hard to tell. I don't know what the heck that could be, you guys. Well, check that one out. That's the old mystery piece for sure. something here kind of felt like it was pulling like a string or something oh no oh, we're still pulling i don't think it's out yet yeah there's like a string i'm pulling something with a string 100 i almost don't even want to pull anymore just stick my hand in there and grab it yeah i got it oh it did break oh look at that you guys there's a string what is this a railroad plate <laughs> you guys this is definitely a railroad plate but uh, i'm guessing maybe somebody tied this up because you can see it's definitely hand tied to a, a tiny string here. Maybe somebody tried to use this for a 
I, I wouldn't say a boat anchor because look at how small that string is. Maybe a kayak anchor or this could be like the old homemade trot line sinker. And if you look at this one, look at the top there. You can see some of the markings in the stamp on there. What if somebody was trying to sink something? You really, you never know. Ooh, here we go. That's kind of actually really heavy. That's, is that even gonna come up? No, why would it, of course. Oh, here we go. Got it again. That's gonna be tough. Doesn't feel like it really stuck that good. Whatever it is, it's coming though. Here we go. I got it. Oh, dude, look at, whoa. It's an exhaust, yep. Look at that, the whole exhaust. I always find these all over the place and I always wonder why. Why would you be cutting off a muffler and tossing it in the river, you guys? That's wild, look at this thing. No doubt that one's been down there for a while, you guys. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ooh, that's a little something. What is that? Whoa! Oh, that looks like some kind of wheel or something. That's a that's a bigger wheel than that little uh, carriage wheel that we found before, though. What the heck you think that is? You guys, check this thing out. I tried to clean some of the clams off of there. You can kind of see there's like some teeth or like some gears on this piece here. That's a pretty funky looking piece. Maybe some kind of pulley deal? I don't really know. Nice. Oh, here we go. I think it just stuck me something. Oh, yeah, it's pretty heavy something, actually. Whoa. Um, oh, I know what this is already. Look it, hold on a second. Yep, let me get the magnet off here. You guys, this is one of them uh, plant hangers. This is the piece that you would stick in the dirt in the ground there, yeah, and then you could like hang your pot or your plants up there, whatever you're gonna hang up there. Your bird feeder. Huh, there's got me a brand new pot holder. Heck yeah. I don't know how much something like that is at the store, but uh, that might as well be brand new once she's cleaned up. Ooh, what do you got there? What the heck is that? Oh, at first I thought this was just a chunk of scrap, but I think those are the teeth off of like a saw, the old wood cutting saw or something. Oh, there's actually something on there. Whoa, dude. Look at that! Oh, it's all bent up. Oh, that is a pitchfork. I was gonna say, it kind of looked like it based on this, but boy, that thing's all funky. Now check out this factory here. At least I think it's a factory. Sure looks like it. Or maybe it used to be. Cause now I look up there and I guess each one of them windows looks like they have curtains on them. So maybe these are, maybe this is like an apartment building now. I guess I'm not sure. And there was also this thing on here too. What do you think of that? Some kind of handlebar off of something? Maybe some kind of cart? Who knows, you guys? Oh, something on there. Heck yeah, what is that? Is that one of them jewels? I think it is, you guys, the old smoker pod. Check that one out. I don't know if I'd be taking any puffs off of that one anymore. Oh, that's heavier than a jewel. My goodness. That's like way heavier. Holy cow. What do I got here? Whoa. Um. This looks pretty, 
boring and basic here at first. Hold on. But then I was going to say this side kind of looks like maybe some writing on there. Now that I'm looking closer, maybe not. What the heck do you think of that one, you guys? Thing's kind of heavy duty. Oh, look at that. I was gonna say, look at the size of that bolt, but look, you guys, we also got a lock on there too. That's a big old long bar. What do you think that one was for? Somebody's bike or something? I doubt it. That sucker's gotta be old. We're talking like antique almost. Holy rust. Ooh, something on there. Something hanging and dangling. Check that out. What is that, like an old hubcap or something? That's kind of what that looks like. Oh yeah, look at, starting to chip away. You can see it's a little shiny under there. I'm gonna guess a hubcap, you guys, but I can't really tell off of what. I guess it kind of looks like the Chevy symbol, but boy, that thing is beat right up. Look at that one. What the? That is a fishing lure. What the heck? You guys, that's gotta be like homemade for sure. If I've ever seen one, that's like a literal chunk of metal just like grinded and polished down or something. And then I don't know what that sticker is, probably a glow in the dark, but like, what is that on there? Just maybe a camo-ish color thing? That's pretty cool, man. That's a slick one. You guys, I am packed up. I'm off the river, and that is gonna wrap our video up here for today. We got some nasty clouds rolling in here, some dark clouds, and it's already starting to sprinkle, so I had to hurry up and get the heck off the river. You guys, yet again, another successful day. Today was our second trip out here in Sheboygan, and I think it definitely deserves a couple more trips. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next.